29 days from now, three-time world champion Jose Rivera makes his comeback in the ring. Rivera headlining a card at the Palladium. Now there are a host of local fighters on the slate. Rivera working out tonight at Camp Get Right. Jose being trained by his good friend Sean Fitzgerald. It's been seven years since Rivera fought. The excitement is building for the 45-year-old as well as the other local fighters. So uh, I'm excited. Uh, today was kind of like the real hardest day. We got one good push tomorrow. And then the week before the fight, it's about prepper, you know, little by little slowing down, taping down, the training up to the weigh-in, and then get ready for the fight time. Um, I feel good and more determined because, you know, I took my first loss, my last fight. So now, you know, I just want to redeem myself. So I feel extra hungry. I'm ready to get back in there. I've been training for eight, 10, 12 rounds. So, you know, four rounds. I'm ready in shape, feel great. And no, it's not more, I feel more excited because, you know, it's in my hometown. All my friends coming, got family, you know, it's, it's pro debut. So excited. All right, so the fight card is August the 17th. It is a week from this Friday at the Palladium. There is no substitute for experience. You hear that a lot in sports from coaches, mostly because it's true. The Assumption football team has loads of experience yeah, and we have leadership. A great core fifth year guys that are that are really our leaders. Um, like I said, we've been here before. We've we've experienced a little adversity at times, especially over this last season. Um, but we're really excited and we're ready to lead this team. This is what we train all summer for just to uh, come back here and uh, get ready to camp, meet uh, all the new freshmen. Uh, we got a whole new coaching staff, so uh, just getting in terms with them and. Uh, it's just very exciting to be back. It's good to see our guys come out in great shape and be able to handle, you know, the first the first bit of adversity uh, regarding the temperatures that we that we've that we've seen. So, we've come out with some great energy, some great enthusiasm. The guys have had some uh, pep in their step. You know, we got to obviously work on some of the technique and communication and assignment errors, but at least they're running fast and working hard, which is what we take out of the first couple of days. All right. So, Assumption will open up their season taking on. Cutstown. The Uxbridge U10 Cal Ripken baseball team won their final game of pool play in the World Series this morning. So they are moving on to the championship round as the number two seed. They are one of only six teams remaining in the tourney. These kids are having a blast hanging out and playing ball together. Um, it's just really special because we play, we've been playing baseball with each other since we're like five and six. So it's pretty fun. It's been really fun just yes. playing with each other, learning a lot of stuff. How has the season been going on? Oh, it's fantastic. We know each other from different sports, school, everything. We knew last year, we said, there's something special about these kids. We knew they all had individual talent. And what uh, our three coaches and myself as manager right off the get-go said, now we got to see if this team can gel. If they can set themselves aside, we know they have individual talent, but sometimes that doesn't uh, bring victory, does not bring success. It's up to those individuals to be able to take a back seat and say, I know who I am, but who am I as a team right, member and what can we do together? And I am astounded right, at what these 12 young gentlemen have been able to accomplish together. Congratulations to this Uxbridge U10 team. They are just continuing to roll right along. One of only six teams left, as I said. They will play North Dakota tomorrow at 8 p.m. The Shrewsbury Legion team's first game in the Northeast Regional was postponed tonight. So, Shrewsbury will play tomorrow morning at Hanover Insurance Park. As Brenna Wilson found out, this team has a cool tradition, and they're a pretty photogenic group. For the last few years, Post 397 has given a championship belt to the player with the biggest hand in the team's win. The team then gathers for a picture, and the magic begins. Once the belt winner is announced for that game, all the boys run into the dugout, grab our props, hop on each other's back, get around the dawn. You know, it just kind of comes like, you know, we'll text, sometimes we'll text in the GM in like our group message before, okay, what's the theme for today? Other days we'll just like, you know, last second, oh, we have, we won, so like, what are we doing? It's something fun that this team does, and, you know, that's that's why it's so fun to come to the ballpark every day with these group of guys and just, you know, win ball games. We try to come up with something new, do something special, make it fun. I mean, we. We make the summer ball fun. We love it. We preach here having fun, and that's part of the fun. You got to play loose. Everybody's playing hard, but if they don't have fun, then this is not worth it. I mean, they're trying to build memories, not just win baseball games. And ultimately, we hope we do both. 
If Shrewsbury had it their way, there will be a few more belt pictures at the Northeast Regionals this week. At Hanover Insurance Park, I'm Brenna Wilson, Worcester News Tonight Sports. All right, thank you, Brenda. So they will play tomorrow morning, but uh, I love what the coaching staff does. I love what the kids do. They just, they honestly, no one has more fun than them playing baseball all year long, this Legion team. And the Don, Frank Vaccaro, it all starts with him. But uh, they play great ball, they win, and they have fun. You can't ask for a better experience that these kids have playing Legion baseball uh, for Shrewsbury Post 397. I love the photos too. We should oh, do that. Oh, they're great. Yeah, <laughs> take we should. Every night. We, every night, take a picture. And we could do. We could give out the belt. Who was the best reporter of the day, yes. or photog, or whoever it was, and uh, they get the championship belt, and everyone gets to do a different pose. I love it. I like we it. have to hijack that. I like the idea. We'll take it. We'll pirate. All good ideas, you pirate. Absolutely. That's going to do it for us here on Worcester News tonight. For Kevin Shea, I'm Anna Botari. We'll see you back here tomorrow.